Hello, my name is Laura Hamilton. I'm a consultant trauma and orthopaedic surgeon at the Brighton and Sussex University Hospital Trust Hand Department. This is our lead hand therapist, Penny Stewart. So today we're going to show you a simple technique for distal radius fracture reduction using finger traps, which also makes it easier to apply the back slab. So if I show you here, finger traps are a simple plastic device that allows you to hold the finger tightly but in a non-occlusive way and it's not painful for the patient. You then hang this from a string from the ceiling or from a drip stand and as the patient relaxes the fracture is gently reduced with longitudinal traction. So if I show you here how you apply the traps, you just gently push the traps up the finger and then they lock. Fracture reduction takes at least 20 minutes but the patient can safely be left there for an hour or two. This helps with pain relief and also makes it much easier to apply a plaster. Ideally, when you're attaching the patient, you want the shoulder to be 90 and the elbow 90. And just relax your shoulders for a minute. There we go. So we'll just tie this up here. Okay, just relax your body. Does that feel okay? Yeah, that's good. So then we leave this patient for at least 20 minutes, the fracture will gently reduce with longitudinal traction and we apply the plaster. The advantage is that one person can apply the plaster without assistance, which is very different when manipulation is performed. Also, the patient doesn't need any additional pain relief as the traction itself will help with pain relief. Okay. Again, with the plaster, it's important that you have radial uh, aspect to the dorsal slab. We need to apply three-point moulding at the fracture site. And we can only do this if we have plaster on the back and on the side of the radius. So if we place this here, if I just turn your hand around, it's important that we get the dorsal coverage and also around the radial side as well. Always apply the bandage coming out through the thumb, through the first web space, to prevent contracture of the first web space. The MCPs, MCPJs of the fingers and the thumb must be left free to allow the patient to exercise the fingers in the backside and prevent swelling. You can see how simple it is to apply the backside with just one person when the finger traps are used. The finger traps are removed by gently compressing the loops and we just check the back slab here you can see neutral alignment no ulnar or radial deviation and coming around to the bowler aspect the MCPJs are completely free so that you can allow 90 degree flexion and also likewise the thumb is able to move so this is how the back slab should look when finished